Okay, so I'm using panels from Longy Corporation. They are outputting 33.3 volts and, and 310 watts. Standard positive and negative connectors on the back of the panel and the frame has been pre-drilled a couple of different hole locations for the mounting brackets to flat surfaces like the RV roof. I'm going to mount my brackets about 48 inches apart as that's where the roof truss spacing is on my travel trailer and that will allow me to anchor directly into solid material giving uh, a secure attachment uh, for the panels to the RV. Okay, Samlex Solar makes it pretty easy to attach these brackets and they provide all stainless steel hardware so I'm using a flat washer on the back side then the bracket then another flat washer and then they also provide stainless steel uh, lock nuts so attach it that way and then it's pretty simple I think the instructions suggest 15 foot-pounds of torque. I don't have a torque wrench handy right now, but I know roughly what 15 foot-pounds of torque is. So I'm just going to go ahead and ratchet that down. Straighten it out. And then I'll do the final torque to about 15 foot-pounds. Okay, so I just have one more to do on that side, and then we will be up on the roof marking out where these are going. Okay, here I am up on the roof. The panels are up here, and I have positioned the panels lengthwise in relation to the trailer, as per the recommendations of the manufacturer. Now I'm going to go and mark with my pencil the hole location in the brackets and then I will move the panels aside drill the holes and put the anchory system in so I'm going to do that now and I will be right back okay so you can see I have marked with my pencil the hole locations in the brackets all the way around so now I'm going to drill a pilot hole this is about an eighth inch bit and ultimately they will be a half inch holes uh, to to receive the well nut, which I'll, I'll show you here in a second. So I'll do one of them for you here. And here comes the half inch hole. like that and then there will be sealant supplied there uh, once uh, before the brackets go on and also after the brackets are on and secured so I'm going to go around and drill the remainder of these holes alright so I have drilled all the holes and set the well anchors you can see all the holes are there and now I'm going to apply the first layer of water protection and that is like a tar tape that I picked up from my local RV dealer. Alright I have the first panel in place and you can see through the bracket the well washer in the middle hole slot there. And Now what I'm going to do is trace with my pencil around each of these brackets and that'll give me an outline for the tar tape that I was talking about earlier. Here's the tar tape and it's just really adhes really sticky on one side and the white side here faces up when it's done so that will be our first layer of water protection so I'm gonna go around and trace these brackets now and alright I have the tar tape installed I'm not sure you can see in the video there 
the depression or the raised circular area, that's the well washer below. So now I'm just going to take my uh, punch, center punch, and punch a hole through for the, the receiving bolt, but that will allow the bolt to slip through there, and then the tar is what binds to the threads and, and adds the water protection. So I'll do that all the way around, bolt the panel into place, and then I'll show you the lap joint sealant that goes on on top of that as the second layer of protection. All right, so both panels are in place, and the bolts that accompany the well anchors have been placed. And if I get down here close, you can see the tar paper below there. So that's the first layer, and the tar paper will wrap around those bolt heads. And the outer ones are also done. and up there as well. Now the manufacturer recommends a half inch plywood roof for these anchors to be the most effective. Unfortunately my roof is three eighths of an inch so I'm going to go along and add some additional wood screws into those brackets so I, I feel better about having strength in numbers in this case. So I'll go around add those extra screws and then we'll put the lap sealant on top of all of that. All right, I've gone ahead and added the additional screws. This is not in the instructions. This is just for my comfort level uh, because of my roof thickness being slightly less. And the leading edge, the windward edge, I've added an additional screw in front and behind the well anchor. And I did notice a significant difference in its uh, retention. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Dicor lap sealant product, which is this here. Dicor products lap sealant self leveling. And this is what the RV uh, maintenance places and manufacturers use, very similar to the factory product. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that over all of that bracket area and have it overlap that tar tape that I used beneath the brackets. Alright, I just finished putting in the Dicor self-leveling sealant and you can see it goes on fairly easily. Our, we're, we're having a cool day up here in uh, southern Canada. It's about 10 degrees Celsius and so that Dicor sealant came out a little bit thicker which was good for me. On a hotter day you may have to move uh, more carefully because it comes out really quick. One word of caution though, I did get a string come off the tip of my gun and it, it nearly landed on on the solar panels which would be very undesirable. So just pay attention to that. But you can see it self levels and actually does a nice job of sealing the perimeter of the brackets as well as the screw heads, any perforations through the membrane of the roof. Okay, so I'm on to wiring, and I believe these connectors are called MC4 connectors. And I prepped stuff uh, prior to getting up onto the roof of the trailer here. As you can see, I have a positive lead there and a negative lead. And between the panels, those are my two negative connections. I am wiring my panels in parallel so both negatives will get joined to that MC4 Y connector and then both both positives will get connected to this MC4 Y connector. Okay so here I am on the other side of the panels and I'll just show you it's very simple with these RC4 connectors it, it mates and then it, it clicks together and snap locks into place. The other thing I forgot to mention was this wire. You need to make sure you're getting a photovoltaic grade wire and uh, in this case this wire is also uh, UV resistant so it can be installed 
uh, directly instead of requiring conduit installation. So I'm going to go ahead now and fasten these. I purchased some stainless steel clips, work really well. And what it does is it connects to the frame of the solar panel itself and then also and then the wires themselves will slip down into this little slot here and you can do two by two uh, side by side and it makes a very neat uh, finished installation all right I have the wires run along the edge of the panel you can see there's the negative lead and uh, it runs underneath the panel attached to those clips I'll see if I can get a shot here for you so there, bring it into focus. So there's the clip on the underside of the panel, and then that wire, that negative lead, is running all the way down to the end of that panel and coming out at the corner. And I've done the same thing with the positive lead. You can see there's the MC4 connectors there and then that wire is running out around the bracket and clipped to the underside of the panel and joining here together at the corner. Now what I'm going to do is just use a standard nylon U-clip uh, or C-clip, looks like this, and it's drilled for screws and then I'm going to use self-tapping metal screws and attach the wire all the way down the front of the RV nice and close to that exterior trim nice and neat and then all the way down to the front where the charge controller will be all right so I thought I'd show you this I've got my voltmeter out here and just the raw ends of the positive and negative leads that are now connected to the panels now I only have one of the panels connected at the moment because I'm missing a couple of of those MC4 connectors but in any event I can still show you when I attach my leads my multimeter voltmeter leads to this wire you can see we're getting 38.4 well it's fluctuating 30 38.6 38.2 to hard to hold it and keep the camera angle as well and we are somewhat overcast right now too so this is primarily stored energy alright so uh, I've dropped those leads down from above and I fastened them with those nylon C-clips and as you can see it's a nice clean installation it comes down here into the coils and I'm gonna be using the charge controller from Midnight Solar called the Brat and I think I'm gonna mount it right here in this area it's, it's designed for outdoor wet applications marine and RV applications so I put my charge controller here then I can connect over here to where my battery array will be placed and then if I need to I can go through this surface inside to distribute load uh, or to uh, inverter which I would have mounted inside the storage compartment here underneath the front bed so that's that alright so I have the midnight solar brat charge controller mounted as you can see I do not have the battery array here yet so what I did since we have live voltage coming in on those two feeds I just taped them off uh, with some electrical tape there which means I can't show you the functions of the charge controller just yet um, and so next day once I have the battery array in place then I can do all the final connections 
at which point I'll show you what I need to do in my case for setting all the the charge uh, control parameters there the profile um, and I forgot to mention I will probably go back now with some polyurethane and just dab the head screw heads here all the way up side of the trailer there to keep any moisture out of those screw holes and this is fairly thin here too this wall it's just thin plywood to keep the weight down thin plywood in behind so I will probably remove this put a clear bead of silicone all the way around and then put stainless steel screws back in for extra support just so that it doesn't rattle off while we're rolling down the road anyway there it is the Midnight Brat charge controller we're all wired up to the panels and we are getting power out of those panels now so next step will be put the battery arrays in place and then start using free power bye for now